What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats. I hope you guys are having a great day. I come back to you with another hat review. I told you guys that I have a ton of hat reviews coming out in the month of December. So if you guys like hats, you guys like baseball, basketball, football, some hockey, some hockey. Hockey's a little wish-washy right now with uh, Fanatics making uh, hockey hats. Uh, I really want to try to get new era hockey hats, so we'll see. But I do do some hockey reviews. Um, so I have another good hat review. I've been waiting to do this hat review for a little bit of time, so finally getting around to it. But before we get started, I got to talk to you about some And on today's Rock People News Edition, we are going to talk about NXT War Games. Now, I'm not going to be like a bunch of those other jackass wrestling creators or wrestling podcasts and basically give you a two-hour review for a two-and-a-half-hour event. It's like, that makes no fucking sense. I just sat through two-and-a-half hours watching the damn, you know, War Games, which was absolutely fantastic if you're a wrestling fan go check out nxt war games it was freaking awesome i will have to tell you and i'm sorry if you haven't watched it but i have to ruin this part for you and this is the probably the thing that probably out of everything on there and i know you're gonna say i'm a moron that's okay if you say i'm a moron i don't have a problem with that but the thing that probably stuck out the most to me was Dakota Kai turning heel. Oh my God, dude. So it was her time to come out of the cage and it was like three versus two. It was uh, Rhea Ripley in the ring and uh, Candice LeRae was in the ring and Dakota Kai was coming out and then Tegan Knox would have been the fourth member of it. Well, Dakota Kai starts coming out of the, you know, the little cage that they have where they're, you know, sit standing in. All of a sudden, after walking probably about five feet, she turns around and she just kicks Tegan Knox in the face and bam, Tegan Knox go out. And I'm like, oh my freaking A, I did not see that coming a mile away. And if you guys are wondering why Dakota Kai was even in the match, apparently something happened on the pre-show or something where uh, Mia Yim was attacked or she basically wasn't cleared to wrestle because she's, she had a pretty hectic week in the sense that uh, in one match, uh, in the latter match with, uh, I believe it was Iro Shirai, she like broke her nose and then with all the stuff going on with uh, Friday Smackdown and stuff, she just wasn't medically cleared and I, like I said, I think there was a part, I didn't watch the pre-show where they said that she was attacked during the pre-show so Dakota Kai took her spot so that's why Dakota Kai was in it in the first place was because Mia Yim wasn't uh, medically cleared and she's supposedly taken to a medical facility nearby and uh so for Dakota Kai to turn heel I, I I was shocked you know it's hard to say you get shocked by a lot you know after all this time of watching wrestling but uh, this is why I do not watch the spoilers or any predictions or anything and until after the fact because as a wrestling fan I genuinely want to be surprised if something happens like, if everybody would say that Dakota Kai is going to potentially turn the heels, or this is what I'm hearing, or that's what they're hearing, or that's what they're saying, I don't want to know that shit. I want to be surprised. And I will tell you, shadow of a doubt, I love Dakota Kai. I think she's freaking hot, okay? Shh, don't tell Team Mother, but I love Dakota Kai, so her turning heel was damn. So basically it ended up being four on two uh, because... Dakota Kai was out of the match. She ends up leaving. Regal and officials chase her away. Tegan Knox was too badly beaten up because uh, Dakota Kai just did some more damage on her and her leg. You know, her surgically repaired leg. And she was out, so it ended up being four on two. I won't ruin the ending, so go check it out. But I had to tell you guys that. But, man, watch NXT War Games. It was fucking awesome. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys. That was this week's Rock People News. Let's get on to the hat review. It's going to be a fun one. Let's go! All right, so I have a goodie here. And today we are going to talk about the... Bam! We got the Arizona Diamondback. 
This hat is fucking awesome. Check it out. You guys know I love this design. What the hell's going on? Ah! Oh shit, what the hell was that? Has hit California just one day after another earthquake, which is now being described as a foreshock and dozens of aftershocks. The latest earthquake reportedly originated in the same desert area of California. Oh, fuck. That was like some sort of fucking earthquake. Oh my God, what the fuck was that? Okay, so today we are talking about, wait a minute. What the hell is going on? What happened to my Arizona Diamondbacks hat? There's two Diamondbacks heads with two baseballs. Dude, apparently the earthquake shook up the logo of the hat. Check that baby out, that is sick. We got double Diamondbacks. Oh my God, what do you guys think, man? I love that. Obviously, you guys, this is called the New Era Disturbance Hat. Uh, this came out a couple, about maybe a month or two ago. This thing is just freaking awesome. I love it with those uh, double uh, Diamondback heads. has a white New Era flag. And then the cool part, to make it even better, you got that Arizona Diamondback right there on the back next to the Major League little guy right there. Black sweatband, gray underneath, 758s, made in Haiti! What's up, Haiti? Shout out to Haiti! Uh, and it's 100% polyester, genuine merchandise. The one cool part about these logos is that they're actually stitched on, so that is actually really good quality, I personally think. Let's try this puppy on. So let me know, guys, down in the comment section, have you guys picked up any of these New Era Disturbance hats? I think they're freaking awesome. Um, if I could, I would like to pick up a couple more. If you guys want to see a couple more of these hats, just hit up Johnny G's Instagram page, and I'll provide the link here, right here, so you guys can check out his page. But if I remember right, he picked up a number of these hats, so go check them out. But here's one of the ones I had to make sure I picked it up, because you guys know I got the Arizona Diamondback snake right there the diamond back with the baseball with the teal fangs right there so when i saw this one i'm like yeah score so, so let me know what you guys think of this hat review did you guys like it did you guys get a little laugh i personally like the hat let me know if you guys picked it up give up the video a thumbs up if you guys ever see a hat on my channel that you guys want me to review specifically go check out my patreon page and read all the great details and i'll even provide the link down in the bottom all right guys thanks for watching this awesome hat review of the new era 5950 disturbance series this thing is fucking awesome all right major league guys out bye everybody see ya